Hey everybody, I'm Jeremy and it's pronounced VAG. And I'm Adam. We have an RS7 in the garage on the quick jacks today and it's our buddy Michael's over here. So, Brand new uh, RS7 that needs a little bit of love when it comes to the noise department. So we got a set of these mid pipes, uh, resonator delete. I think they're the Res X from 034 Motorsport. We're gonna get this install going. We'll walk you through how to do it. Step one is this car was driven over here and we gotta get to work. So Adam's putting some fans right up above the downpipe just to keep it cool. Then I'm gonna grab a T25 Torx on my drill and get under here and remove that underbelly pan right now. Nope, this isn't a TikTok video. This is the underside of the car right here. So we got the T25 and we are gonna go ahead and get these off and we're just gonna get all of these off of here until this underbelly pan is removed. Adam's got the two plastic clips in the back. Let's see what you're doing over here. There's just uh, these clips need to be popped out. I'm probably using not the right tool, but I got a flathead screwdriver that yep. is prying that out and then you're able to wiggle that out of place. Perfect. We got like a pickle port thing. Yeah. Out, but a <laughs> screwdriver seems fine. Yeah. Adam's exiting the rear of the vehicle with that pan that we just took off. And now we got to look at here. So we're gonna move to the next step, which is gonna be removing these heat shields. Okay, so the next step is to get these 10 millimeter bolts off of here. I'm trying to hold the phone and do this one handed. And then just pop the heat shield right down here and you're good. Okay, that's the front of the car. We're coming up under the exhaust. This aluminum brace is the next thing to go. So we're gonna use the M12 triple squares to get these off. And I believe there's a couple of T25s right there and right there. All right, now that we have that removed, we can get to these clamps and get these removed. I'm gonna go ahead and use just this uh, 13 millimeter ratcheting wrench that I've got. So I can get up back here and get these out. You can probably fit a ratchet up there if you need to, but I'm gonna use this. All right, here on the driver's side, we're taking off the spring bolt and you can see I've got my ratchet already attached to it. And there's another, uh, that's the M10 triple square. There's another one right under it, which you can't see is directly behind this drive shaft, or not drive shaft, the steering shaft um, that you take off both of them. All right, so we got Adam under here. He's got a long 3 8 inch extension and a swivel socket. 12 millimeter. 12 millimeter to get all the way up in here. I'm going to the... To the yep, top that. bolt there. Yep. And uh, we'll show you how to get each one of these off, but this combination should suffice for most of the bolts that you're gonna need to do. Oh. Slip it off the studs. Yeah, gotta slip it off the studs and then sort of rotate it around. I remember this being pretty difficult actually. Yeah, because we've got that quick jack in the way over there. So yeah. you've got a four post, two post lift. You just swing it around to your heart's content. If you're on jack stands though, you're gonna have a similar problem. Here we go. 
Okay, so when you pull this out, it's a uh, pull straight down and then you're gonna wanna twist and let the bottom fall down a bit. Once you get it to the point where this bracket is kind of wedged here and this is barely slipping by here, you're gonna wanna grab here and push up and that's gonna allow this to flex and it'll just kind of pop right out of there. Uh, it's gonna take some finagling. So just have some patience. Yeah. Okay, so when you're on the passenger side and you need to get to this last bolt here, we've got a long 3 8 extension with a swivel bolt and you can kind of push this heat shield out of the way, push this heat shield out of the way a little bit and get your extension to get a straight shot with the swivel bolt right onto the last nut here. I'll have Adam show you from up above. So here's a shot at where Jeremy's working. He's getting that twisted loose. Uh, one thing to point out is that the transmission mount is removed. So we've removed both M10 triple, triple squares there, and that's what allowing him to get through underneath that bracket. And he is removing it. Keep twisting, sir. Okay, we're gonna pull straight back. This one slides off pretty nice. And we're gonna twist and shout. And Holy cow, that was so easy on that one. It was so easy. Give it a kiss, man. <laughs> All right, we have the downpipes out. Now you can see uh, the direct difference of each. Obviously, no resonator in there. We still have heat shielding up on the top. And you can see that they, they do have some sort of coating. We're gonna see exactly what that is. And then the, the OEM one is just a raw stainless. So flex pipe in the same location. The brackets are almost identical from OEM to the 034 units. All right, we got the old mid pipes out. The new ones are about to go in. We are leaving the OEM gasket on there for the exhaust, and we're gonna snake the new mid pipes up. But that's what it looks like. That's where all the bolts and the studs are. Have fun trying to get to them for your install, but it can be done. Don't scratch it, okay? <laughs> I'm trying to remember how I got the other one out. <laughs> Yes, yes, no, no. <laughs> so I'm editing this video and I see that I forgot to show you how I got all those bolts back on the downpipes. Use a really cool quarter inch long extension and you can use a adapter to get it up on your three eighths inch drive swivel sockets if you have those or if you can get swivel sockets and quarter inch drive, that'll probably do you even better for the whole project. And uh, anyways, it'll just allow you the extra flexibility to get the bolts right up on there where they need to be. Um, you can put them on with your hands so you're not stripping or cross-threading the, the nuts on there. Anyways, that's how we did it. I'll put links in the description. It'll keep it easy. Now we are just about to button this up, but I wanted to give you a quick view of what this looks like from underneath the car before we do. And it is really cool. I like this titanium finish they do on these mid pipes everything's all nice and connected and up and snug in there hopefully your experience goes the same way now let's check out some sound clips before and after there's some revs of it yeah Yeah, go for it. <laughs> 